We are Team Mir. We are a group of first-year graduate industrial design students studying at the Rochester Institute of Technology. This presentation is meant to document all of our process within our ID Design Problems class. This is a group project entitled Redefining Workspaces. To begin the process of redefining a workspace, we must ask ourselves, what is a workspace? We conducted the research at RIT and saw how various spaces are being utilized to do work. Work can be done in various places. Utilizing various surfaces, any space can become a workspace. An individual will use any space to work and will make him or herself as comfortable as possible. Standing, sitting in a group by yourself, one will define a usable workspace. A work surface can transcend a typical table and chair setup. It can hang, suspend from walls, and be elevated from the floor. A space can be personal, communal, or a hybrid of the two. And it will dictate the behavior and influence productivity. Oftentimes, a traditional workspace does not address individual needs. Generally, people would modify it to be more comfortable, productive, and happier. The idea of a bike rack is an intriguing one because it's largely untapped space where people can secure their bikes, socialize, and potentially engage in work. The following images demonstrate our research and inspiration from existing workspace solutions. These two photos here display functional dialogues. On the left, a hanging dialogue for aesthetic and utility. On the right, we have more of a social dialogue that is conducive for group work. These examples demonstrate how to define personal area for work. These photos show more of what we found to be inspirational. Features such as curvature, ergonomics and portability. We were also influenced on how simple a workspace can be. Research findings Workspaces encompass more than just a desk and a chair. If we are limited to these elements, the space also needs to be functional for personalization. Workspaces can exist within many different settings. Anything can become work, and every space you encounter has a different experience for each person. Workspaces must be flexible. Adjustable areas house a space for anyone to feel comfortable. The individual housing that element defines that workspace. The concept of that personal versus public space determines the usage and idea of that space. Reimagining and creating the workspace. Always design a thing by considering in its next larger context. A chair in a room, a room in a house, a house in an environment, an environment in a city plan. This was our approach in designing our work objects. Design influences. Drawing upon our research, we found that the concepts to influence our decisions the most would be that of flexibility, simplicity, organic form, and personal space. We also wanted our work to challenge stereotypical work dialogues. We began by sketching out ideas. A lot of our ideas revolved around workstations that were standing, were modular, have offset work surfaces, and physical dividers. We then began to take our ideas into the real world with scale representations of objects as sketch models. We started to empathize with our skilled people models, organizing and crafting scenarios for their work habits. We then took a step back, worked at a smaller scale with the concept of a larger space. We wanted to have more of a narrative applied to our work area. We incorporated ideas of collaboration, and organize the space in a way that we felt could accommodate modern notions of work. In these two videos here, we are experimenting with how the objects can be manipulated, as well as taking a different perspective on how some of the people in our space would view the work area and would interact with that space. We focused more and more on the most relevant areas of our workspaces and began to draw attention to them. Here we have wire holders that could serve a number of purposes for displaying information, holding the worker's stuff, and that have the potential to be a workstation unto themselves. These pieces here include curvilinear and undulating space dividers that could also serve as holders for work surfaces and for storage. We were also intrigued with the dialogue of a bike rack, one that served as storage, 
defined personal space, declared individuality, and has a personality unto itself. Concept Outcomes We have to focus on a solution that defines personal workspace. Something that is modular and customizable for a variety of uses for a diverse group. We also have to understand traditional workspace to create our own identity of workspace, also be able to focus on the needs of future users. With the workspace being very functional and flexible, it gives the user the ability to determine their own space and set a certain secure boundary for them. And one thing that we do need is to accommodate for future needs. Workspace Object Focus and Exploration Narrowing our focus further, we took our small-scale designs to full-size mock-ups. This helps us demonstrate the feasibility of such designs and helps us work out any issues that may arise. Here we have our divider as workspace concept brought to life. We like the aesthetic it provides, the flexibility of this space, and the ability to customize that space and its surfaces. The most important aspect of this design is the ability to break it down and take it away with relative ease. The idea of a workspace that can exist elsewhere intrigued us, so we then moved on to our next design, one that redefines where work can take place. This is our bike rack as a workspace concept. Rough, full-size mockups gave us an idea of how the object will function, look, and be utilized. We used a variety of available materials to quickly produce this rough model and get a real sense of scale and function. Bringing in a bike gave us a more realistic idea of how it will interact with the rack itself. During this process we realized this particular bike orientation defines the personal space quite well and gives one a sense of security and ownership while working outside. Once we established a direction we proceeded to make additional sketches that illustrate different forms and aesthetics. Subsequently a full-size model was made based on our focused direction. Moving forward, we will be working towards a finished bike rack workspace design that will be functional and one that will demonstrate intent of production quality materials. This has been produced by Team Mir for the ID design problems and ID presentation classes at the Rochester Institute of Technology. Ta-da! Dude, we should totally keep that. <laughs>